I get asked the question a lot. How does the rise of radical Islam have anything to do with Bible prophecy and the signs of the end times? Well, here's the fast, simple version. The Bible tells of an end time war where an evil man of sin leads many nations together to destroy Israel. And in the book of Ezekiel, the prophet even names the nations that will be involved in this last day war. How cool is that, right? He names Libya, Ethiopia, Persia, which is Iran, Turkey, and many other nations. They're referred to by their old names and geographical locations. Now here's where it gets real interesting. Almost all the nations that he named that are involved in this last day war have one thing in common. They're all Islamic nations that surround Israel. So, in a nutshell, God warns us 2,600 years ago that a confederacy of Islamic nations would unite under a wicked leader with the sole purpose of destroying Israel and God's holy people in the last day, then names them by name. Look, I believe God had Ezekiel write these names down to let us know that all these Islamic nations would be at the center of Bible prophecy in the last days. So it really shouldn't surprise us to see Islam rising with such intensity. But the question is, do people really think that it's just a coincidence that this 2,600-year-old prophecy just happens to sound a lot like me in the news? Come on now. Look, the world keeps telling us that Islam is a peaceful religion. If Islam is so peaceful, then why does it continually keep producing more and more extreme Islamic militants every day? Look, I know not all Muslims are terrorists, and there can be extremists in any religion. I get that. But despite what the liberal media says or won't say, the truth is radical Islam is at war with everybody that does not believe as they do. So should we as Christians be afraid of all this? Oh, not at all. You see, we serve the living God. The same mighty God that warned us of this is the same God that will deliver us. So what do we do? Well, we just keep on doing what the church has always been called to do. And we pray that God will send a mighty revival to these lost souls in the Islamic world. Look, I know you've probably heard it said a thousand times, but you better get ready. Jesus is coming soon.